The following video is not endorsed by the Eastern State Penitentiary Historic Inc. <laughs> And welcome to a brand new episode of Lewis's Adventures. I'm Lewis, your host. In this episode, I'll be doing a tour of a famous landmark that's right in my own backyard, which I live behind. That landmark is the Eastern State Penitentiary. This was once a prison that had criminals from history, like Al Capone to even Slick Willie Sutton. This old prison is also popular around Halloween for its haunted house attraction. Join me as I will take you all on a journey through a part of Philadelphia's history. I will also try to get some interviews with the staff at the prison for this episode. The Eastern State Penitentiary first opened in 1829 as part of a controversial movement to change the behavior of inmates through confinement in solitude with labor. Eastern State Penitentiary quickly became one of the most expensive and most copied buildings in the young United States until its closing in 1971 as prisoners were transferred to other prisons like Gradiford. The prison was abandoned. There were plans for it numerous times in the 1980s. In 1994, it first became a tourist attraction, which it has remained as such today. Over the years, the prison has also been used in movies like Twelve Monkeys, Return to Paradise, and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Everyone, I've made it to the Eastern State Penitentiary as I go in and explore the cell blocks and everything else that makes up this design. On April 3rd, 1945, a brazing escape had taken place here with the mastermind and one of the 12 captured the day it took place Slick Willie Sutton who was doing time at Eastern State for bank robbery along with the person who planned the escape from the start, Clarence Kleinditz, a plasterer, stonemason, burglar, and forger. This 31-inch, 212-foot deep tunnel was dug by two-man teams of 30-minute shifts using spoons and flattened cans of shovels and picks starting from cell 68 all the way to 22nd Street and Fairmount Avenue. Afterwards, the tunnel was lost to time until 2008 when it was rediscovered by an archaeological team. I'm here at the corner of 22nd Street and Fairmount Avenue where 12 prisoners made an escape attempt, but some were caught shortly after while 
took months to capture the remaining inmates. This tunnel was dug at cell 68 and was planned by none other than Slick Willie Sutton himself. Good afternoon. Just shooting a video for my YouTube channel. Excuse me. I'm about to explore cell block one as this place has about 15 cell blocks including cell block 8 where Al Capone was once imprisoned at. I go through cell block one as I learn about things from what happened before this castle-like prison structure was even built to things like what it was like to be a prisoner here. I'm about to explore cell blocks two and three next to see what information from the past they hold. I explore both cell blocks two and three as I continue to take a trip back into time to see what it was like doing time in the joint. I then head over to Al Capone's cell as it has been restored to the way it was during his time at Eastern State. Well, everyone, bad news. 
one, I can't get an interview under circumstances beyond my control, and two, due to inappropriate and possibly copyrighted content in um, cell block 10, I'm only going to show you the entrance to that. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of this tour. Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean Excuse me
Dito sa me. As I continue to explore the rest of the cell blocks, including the infamous death row where prisoners were sentenced to death would stay at, to even visiting the cell where the escape tunnel that leads out onto Fairmount Avenue was dug for the infamous escape.
맛있으니까 Well, everyone, I got some more video to share with you because I took a tour of the of the kitchens and the hospital ward that the prison had when it was operating. Enjoy. On September 28th, I took a tour of the soup kitchens and the hospital ward inside of the penitentiary thanks to my trusty tour guide, Ruth, who also showed me a bit of a secret that I missed in the synagogue a bit earlier. Like the fact where it was once built had individual exercise yards when they used to do single cells at Eastern State. I'll never forget this wonderful experience visiting a famous and popular landmark that's in my own backyard and learning about its history. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I uploaded new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As I always say, it's time for adventure.